안녕하세요, 제이엠 and 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I want to try fading a little bit more of my leftover red that is in my hair. And I thought I would just document it while I'm at it. So let me just show you how much pigment is left in my hair. It kind of looks rose gold, but my roots are a little bit more red because underneath the red, I actually had orange before that was faded. So I had a faded orange. And I think that's still in my hair. So the faded orange is kind of showing through the leftover red pink pigments. However, on my roots, because my roots were freshly bleached, the red clung to my roots and maybe that's why my roots are more red than the rest of my hair. Especially on the inside here, you could really see it. Can you see that? It's very red right here. They really clung to my roots. But for some reason, this side is more red than this side is. I don't know if it's because maybe I mm, used less product on this side. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put some of my fading solution. If you're looking for ways to fade your hair color, I did an experiment with the chemical color remover. You can see the video linked right up here. I also tried vitamin C as well. I compared the chemical color remover with baking soda and dandruff shampoo combination. For now, I'm just gonna use the baking soda and dandruff shampoo again because I think it might just be easier to mix for me. And even though it's a little bit drying, I wanna kinda apply it and then put in some Olaplex after to reconstruct my hair. But if you wanna see a video where I just use vitamin C, you can see it right here to see the difference as well from before using it to after using it. And mix our shampoo plus baking soda. I know a lot of people are concerned with the effects of um, dandruff shampoo. I know it's really drying, it's not good for your hair, but I've only been using it for um, the times that I wanna fade my hair, so I'm not that worried. I'm mixing with a floss picker. If anything, I think a good ratio would be um, half and half. So I think this is about the texture that I want. It's kind of like whipped cream. So I'm just gonna wet in my hair with this, I guess. Ah, it's just dripping. This is hard. I don't know if I can get my hair nice and damp like this. Ooh, okay, yeah. Feels weird though. It might be better just to dump my head in some bathtub. Oh, cha oh. Whatever, I'll just do it as I go. Okay. Water. Shampoo. Oh, it's so pink here. Do you see that? It's almost like toothpaste. It's very, very red here. Baking soda does have lightening properties, which is why people recommend baking soda or vitamin C crushed into a deep cleansing or dandruff shampoo to fade color. Oh my gosh, it's so vibrant. And then I guess I'll just rub the side wherever I put a lot of the shampoo. Let's check this side out. There's not as much on the side. Maybe like here. <sighs> oh, standing like this is making me tired. I should have brought my chair. Oh, it's so pasty. My roots look like they could have been bleached like three times. I think if I did bleach my roots three times, the color would have faded by now from the running of the bleach water, the rest of the bleach water. However, because I'm not bleaching my hair, I think that's contributing to the color staying. It smells kind of like cooked fish for some reason. Like floral cooked fish. It smells really good. By the way, if you're interested in any merch, you can see and browse the merch below this video. There's like a little bar if your country does provide the merch shelf. If not, I'll have a link in the description to our merch shop. All of the profit goes back into developing this channel and producing more videos. So we're always thankful to everyone who supports us in this way as well. So my hair is now dry. I think color faded a little bit. Let me just show you. I feel like the color did fade a bit, especially on my ends. It looks way more rose goldy than rose, but it does still kind of look like a rose gold. 
especially on camera. My roots, they still look a, a little bit pink, especially on the underside right here. This side, it retained a lot of the red pigments. Can you see that? It's like really red down here. But on this side, it's not as red. I don't know what the difference is on the two sides. Why is there such a disparity in color staining? <laughs> anyway, I feel like it's enough pigment rinsed out for me to go ahead and put a new color on. And of course, I won't be using um, any chemical-based dyes. I'll just be using my vegetable-based semi-permanents that just uh, sit on top of the hair, especially because right now I am big belly. But that's it for this video. If you like this one, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I can see that you liked it. And definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified right when new videos drop. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. I post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, so I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use. We'll see you next time.